Good afternoon, I'm Ashton Graham. And I'm Shadow Harris. And, and this is the KS News. What's for lunch? <laughs> for Monday's lunch, we will have hamburger, lettuce, and tomato, onion rings, marinade, oranges, and fresh fruit. Mm. Yummy. Mr. Butcher will now announce the classes that had perfect attendance today. Perfect attendance. Perfect attendance. Perfect attendance is what we want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, thank you. Classes with perfect attendance today in kindergarten, Miss Baletska, Miss Graham, and Miss Johnson. And Miss Johnson has now tied Miss Harris for the lead with nine days of perfect attendance. In first grade, Miss Lee, who has also tied Miss Harris and Miss Johnson for the lead with nine. Miss Peterson had perfect attendance, and Miss Pittman had perfect attendance. In second grade, Miss Bryan had perfect attendance, Miss Chandler had perfect attendance, and Miss Escover, who is slowly but surely creeping back into this, she might make it two months in a row. In third grade, Miss Piner. In fourth grade, Miss Ham and Miss Nix, fifth day in the row. Um, and then in, in fifth grade, Miss Chupp had perfect attendance. Thank you guys for being here each and every day. Make sure that you are every single day. Mr. Meadows now announced the top one shooting classes today. Um, I think we got to remember we had a little kickball game for, with Miss uh, um, Escover's class um, because they had the highest attendance last month, and so we had it today. So how'd it go? Mr. Butcher's <laughs> team won the game. Yes, guys. Mr. Butcher and the girls in Miss Escover's class won this time. So mm. it was fun, though, wasn't it? It was a good, good time. We had a good time. Very proud of Miss Escover's Winning class. is not important. <laughs> That's right. it, it, it's it's not the most important thing. <laughs> but anyway, it was very fun and proud of the kids because even the, the boys and the girls were both good sports. Um, and they had fun. They learned a new game. And um, even though not everyone won, okay, like your team, but everyone was a good sport about it, right? And we had a good time. And we had a good time. All right, so tell me, who are our classes for today in the cafeteria? Miss Belusco's class, okay. Miss Cruz, Miss Piner, and Miss Massey. Uh -huh. uh, Miss Jennifer said that those four classes did great. It was hard to choose three, so she chose four this time. Yeah. So great job, guys, for uh, uh, modeling the right behavior in the cafeteria, being respectful, responsible. And uh, have, have a great weekend. Happy Friday, everyone. Right. We'll see you on Monday. On Monday. Joke, joke, joke of the day. Joke, joke, joke of the day. For the joke of the day, we have Anderson Martin in Miss Blutzka's class. Anderson, what's the joke of the day? Knock, knock. Who's there? Lettuce. Lettuce who? Lettuce in. <laughs> we will now have our lip sync of the week. That will be followed by our PBIS stars. Dog goes woo. Cat goes meow, bird goes tweet, and mouse goes squeak. Cow goes moo, frog goes crow, and the elephant goes toot. Ducks and quack, and fish go blow, and the seal goes ow, ow, ow. But there's no sound that no one knows. What's up, the frog saying? It is that time for our uh, PBIS Stars of the Week, and here are our three stars of the week this week. And we recognize people for being ready, which means being in the right place at the right time with the right stuff, being respectful, treating others the way you want to be treated, and being responsible, doing your job with a smile on your face and giving perfect efforts. And this week we have Miss Muldrow, our um, uh, music teacher pick our winners and for our PBIS Ready Star of the Week is Miss Amani. Amani, what's your last name again? Lewis. Amani Lewis. She is our Ready Star, so she is, Miss Muldrow says she's always 
when it comes to music, she's always in the right place at the right time with the right stuff. She said that she has the right attitude to really get in there and do what she's supposed to do. So, for being our PBIS Ready Star of the Week, you get two Dragon Dollars. Okay, look up there and smile at everyone. You get two Dragon Dollars. You also are going to get your picture outside the cafeteria so everyone will see your beautiful face. Your name will be out on the um, marquee. And now that we finally got them in, we got our bands, and you can only get these if you're a PBIS star. And yours says Ready. So you get a PBIS star band right there, the ready one, the blue one. Put that on you right there. So there you go. You got that. And so you're all set. All right. So congratulations for being our ready star of the week. And now respectful star of the week. Respectful means treating others the way you want to be treated. And it doesn't surprise me at all that this person gets it. It's Mr. Lucas Bacham. He is in whose class? Miss Scott's fourth grade Ms. class. Miss Scott's fourth grade class. And Miss Muldrow said he treats everyone, including her, just the way that you would want to be treated all the time. He's always got, he's always kind and always encouraging people. And so for you, oops, I dropped my dragon dollars. For you, you get a couple dragon dollars as well. Thank you. Okay, your name was going to be on the marquee outside. And your face is going to be, your handsome face will be outside the cafeteria. And you get a respectful bracelet as well. So the respectful is white and you can only get that if you're star of the week. So congratulations to you. And then our responsible star, and you guys all know him, he's kind of like a, he's like a school star now because he is uh, um, on the TV every day. So it doesn't surprise you, you guys see him being responsible, doing his job. He's always got a smile on his face when he does it. And he's always giving perfect effort is Mr. Ashton Graham. And Miss Muldrow says the same thing. When you guys are in, in music, you're always giving great effort. Um, you always got a good attitude about it. You're always doing your job. So Ashton, you get some dragon dollars. And also too, you're going to have your handsome face outside. Not that we don't have enough of Ashton's handsome face. It's probably, well, we've probably been enough of Ashton, but we got his handsome face outside and your name will be out there. And then you get the gray. It's gray for uh, responsible, you get that as well. So thank you for being our responsible star of the week and thank you for being our respectful star of the week and thank you for being our ready star of the week. All right, thank you guys. All right, a uh, couple of announcements for our upcoming week. Don't forget that next uh, Thursday is our picture retake so if you need to get your picture retaken that is next Thursday so make sure you're dressed to the best of your the best dress you got so you can look beautiful for your pictures and also coming up in three weeks October 3rd October 4th and October 6th is our packed meetings and these are really really important for um, your parents to be here this is probably the most important thing that we do um, as a school to prepare your parents to make sure that they can prepare you to uh, help you um, be successful in school so be telling your parents they need to come kindergarten first grade needs is on October 3rd fourth and, or second and third grade is on October 4th and then fourth and fifth grade is on October um, 6th we have free child care here we're working on trying to get food here as well um, not a huge amount of food but some food here as well and we are also um, going to have it translated in Spanish for any parents that speak Spanish only. So there's no excuse for you not to be here. I know sometimes you got football practice or baseball practice or soccer, um, but you know about it. And give it a couple of weeks, three weeks ahead of time. So make sure you make those arrangements to have you, you, your parents be here. It's really, really important. We'll have prizes for um, people to come. We'll have a drawing. Anyone that comes, they'll get an opportunity to win a. Um, a gas card for $25 worth of gas um, and we got other prizes as well so uh, be on the lookout for that for a pack meeting October 3rd, 4th, and 6th. That is all the announcements for today. Thank you for being a ready, respectful, and responsible student who is focused on graduation. You are in the year 2024! Because when you are a ready, respectful, and responsible student who is focused on graduation, you are fully committed to student success. Yeah! It is now time for our car motors and after school buses to come to the gym. When you come in the gym, you need to walk on the right side of the hall and be silent. When you get to the gym, you need to sit at your grade level rows and be silent so you can hear your car call. If you're a bus rider, you need to pay attention to the announcement so that you can hear your bus being called. When your bus is called, please make sure that you go straight to your bus. Also, make sure you walk on the right side and you are silent. Please make sure you pay attention so you don't miss your bus. Serious about this. Gosh. I'm Ashton. And I'm Shada. And that was the KS News. See ya!
I seem crazy when I 